The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. For you, the American citizen, I want you to know you should have great hope. You should have great pride. There are people that are risking everything to bring this information. They are stunned and angry at how many journalists will not report this story. There are other journalists that have actually filed reports and the uh, corner offices, the offices of the power in these organizations have spiked them with no reason given. I will tell you that CARE and the Muslim Brotherhood and this administration plays for keeps. Anybody who reports on this information is in danger. You're in danger of losing your life or your career. You're in danger of having something bad happen to you. Payback will be a bitch on this one. But I have to tell you, if you care to continue to discredit, that's fine. I may be able to uh, not, you know, have a good name in society, but I'll sleep at night because I won't be responsible for the next terror strike. This is an excoriation of this administration, the DHS, and all those who are trusted, not really, well, trusted by 8% of us to tell us the truth. We'll show you how badly they're dropping the ball. Coming up. We have to be really careful. Uh, by the way, let me just give a quick update. Um, I want to make sure that I, I may have misstated something on this um, um, event file. Uh, subject has one prior event, number 1648067. Um, I may have said or alluded to that this would... What did I say? Do you remember? I think you said, so they knew that he was a 2123B before this, okay. but that doesn't necessarily mean it was that designation on the other event file. And I do not have that information, um, at least that I have been told my staff uh, will have this information. When appropriate, we will lead, uh, uh, let you know. I will tell you that I know... Um, I know the end of this, but I do not know um, uh, necessarily all of the ins and the outs, and I don't want to know. I am trying to keep information as compartmentalized as possible for the protection of those who are involved. Um, so I, I know the steps that we're taking, and I would ask that you would... Uh, um, Take these steps with us. Well, I usually say to you, do your own homework. I can't uh, tell you that now. Um, I did hold this up, so let's make sure that this is being uh, cropped. I don't know what's on the blaze now, but make sure this is cropped and put up on the um, uh, on the website along with this story, so you can do your own homework. I will tell you that there is a ton of misinformation and disinformation, lies, and deceit. Um, I will tell you that we have had pictures of Michelle Obama with this guy uh, in the hospital room, and we've had them for a while. But I will tell you that I haven't been able to verify that, that those pictures are real. You can find them online. I'm not saying that they're not real, but I'm not... Uh, I'm not willing to say they are either. We are trying to be as careful as we possibly can. I learned my lesson um, through fighting with these guys for four years. I know what they're like. I know how Saul Alinsky works. I know how the mind of this administration works. And if you make mistakes, they will, they will just paper cut you to death. That is currently what they're trying to do, and they're trying to do things uh, with misinformation, and they are misleading and choking off anybody who wants to um, tell the truth. Let me give you, um, and I'm sorry to be cryptic here, 
but um, um, I'm trying to bring you along uh, on this journey with us. But I think it's just as important to tell you um, the, some of the behind the scenes so you know you have faith that you're not alone. Um, this, I believe, is a very frustrating process for many journalists. I think it will get more frustrating today because if you tweet and Facebook this information and you get it out, um, they will have to respond to this. Quite honestly, I don't believe that there's any way to save the mainstream media. I believe it is coming down. And uh, those who stand on the sidelines and say, well, I'm just going to stay out of the whole thing, um, are going to find themselves in deep trouble as well because they will come down. Um, because, as I said last week, I'm a changed person. Um, I had things that I believed about the media and everything else, <clears throat> and they weren't good. But when we started this process, um, you know, when you have people's legs blown off and arms blown off and people die, an eight-year-old kid is blown up in the streets of of America, and then you have reporters and, and uh, media institutions and law enforcement officials in the DHS, like Janet Napolitano, that will lie and cover up and protect those people, um, <laughs> you're in a different ball game. You know, what we said about Benghazi, we were the ones who said to you, they're running guns, they are running them to Turkey, then to Syria. We are supporting the Muslim Brotherhood. CARE is involved in this. Um, we're the ones who told you all of that was going on. We did not have the documentation. We have it this time. We did not have the documentation. But it was released yesterday that uh, Hillary Clinton, uh, when she said, well, we didn't have the documentation and everything else, it's now the documentation is now being um, seen by enough people. The blaze is not in on part of this nego uh, on this uh, investigation, um, but it is um, our understanding that uh, the White House edited everything out about Al Qaeda, and they edited all of these things out to make it look like it was something else that it's not. I will tell you that the two bombers are guilty. That's my belief that they're guilty. That they did it. Uh, that uh, this guy who we're telling you about did not place the bombs. But I'll tell you at the top of the hour, some of the information that we gave last night on television and more tonight on television about the mosques that these two guys were involved in. Well, that's Saudi Arabian money. That's Muslim Brotherhood money. Saudi Arabia is involved. We have some things that are coming out in the next couple of weeks that, uh, and hopefully in the next few days, but definitely we'll have to see how they're playing their game. But within the next couple of weeks of what the real problem is, the roots of terror in this country that no one is willing to say, I will tell you that I don't know how we stand against this tide if we have to stand alone, but that's all right. I'm totally willing, totally willing to go down uh, personally. I'm, I'm fine, whatever. But I will tell you, the blaze will not go away. The blaze will not go down. Because the idea is the truth is the fire. And that fire will purify. And if you're not telling the truth, you're going to burn yourself down. And we're seeing it now with Janet Napolitano and this entire administration. I want you to know there are good people out there. But I also want to tell you this that you have to be very careful because um, the games that are being played now, I wouldn't have believed five years ago. But there are people that actually live like Ben Affleck lives, or not Ben Affleck, uh, what's his name, uh, that did um, The Born Identity, uh, Matt Damon. You know, that movie, Matt Damon, where it's just this, you know, this woman is in the car and she's like, I don't know. And all of a sudden, you're seeing a guy with passports and stuff and bank accounts and all of a sudden. They are, there are people that live that way. Incredible as it sounds, there are. Um, and the games that are played at the Washington level, especially the international level like this, are mind-boggling. And um, you have to be careful on who you condemn and who you 
uh, and who you trust. I don't know if this is going to make any sense. I want to go to a um, uh, deal from Be- Brett Bear. Brett Bear yesterday, and this is being used to discredit us. Um, but I want you to listen to this report because this was not on television. Fact number one. This was not on his show. This was on the blog. And he is saying that the Department of Homeland Security told him that this is all wrong. Well, that's pretty important information I would think that would need to be on the show. But he put it on his blog. And I want you to listen to this story and listen with more than your ears. Listen to something just doesn't seem like uh, Brett's married into this. Listen. Jan Napolitano, the Secretary of uh, Homeland Security, just said today that he really was never a person of interest. Um, but out of an abundance of caution and out of diligence, according to these U.S. officials, federal authorities at that time, because they wanted to question him, added him to the no fly list. But now, this is key. When anyone inside the U.S. with a U.S. visa is added to the no fly list, the process, the process, is started and a stress process here to revoke a uh, visa and that's automatically begun according to US officials okay the um, 212 is a national security uh, indication and anyone looking at this would say this is a bad guy um, this means this, they had a lot of stuff on this guy um, the US officials we're talking to say this document was simply triggered by them putting him on the no-fly list when they went to go talk to him. Stop. What Brett doesn't have is the information that we just uh, gave. Um, but Brett's smarter than this. Um, I, um, and if he wasn't, he should put this on his real uh, show. Um, but Brett is smarter than this. And you'll notice what he's saying is the officials that we talk to, the no-fly list, you'll notice, he says, you know, starts the uh, process of deportation. He's not talking about the 2123B. He says Mm -hmm. they know that that's a very, very bad guy. Somebody who sees that knows he's a very, very bad guy. That's why I said to you last week, we know that he's a bad, bad, bad man. Three times. 3B. Um, And that was a signal to them. We know he's a 3B, a 2123B. And that's a different category. But you'll notice here that Brett is saying our sources... At Homeland Security. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that if I called the newsroom at, uh, you know, or the press room at uh, Homeland Security, they would tell me the same thing. Um, I'm going to give Brett uh, the benefit of the doubt because I don't know. It's not like we hang out with each other. But I have respect for Brett, and I have respect for uh, his team. And, uh, and I know... Um, I just, um, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt that uh, he's on it. What pressure um, is being applied, I have, uh, one can only guess. But I, uh, I appreciate the fact that he is putting this on his blog. Be careful who you trust and be careful who you throw under the bus. You're not necessarily always getting the full story. And this is going to take an orchestra to be able to navigate through. Now, for those journalists elsewhere, uh, I'm not sure what your story is. I don't think you have one. You might want to go back to work. Call your congressman now and tell them, look the story of the blaze. If you think it's a conspiracy theory, explain away what's being posted now at the blaze. And by the way, there's much, much more where that comes from. Tell your congressman, you'd like to know exactly where this gentleman is. I warn you, you're not going to like the answer. But you'd like to know exactly where this man who is armed and dangerous 
and how he got into this country without being vetted at all with special access. If he has this special access, you're telling me when they came to him, they, they had no idea who he was? The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. 